call me Fuego. 93 like me. Fire in the sheets, spending summers on the seas. Quedo, no way. It's pretty impressive, given the fact you have 20 players there, that they're all like able to communicate and able to work together. Uh, mm. It shows that however they've got the comms, however they've got the uh, the, the sort of the, the power structure on the team, it's working really well for them. Exactly. Also, I loved how, I mean, and, and I didn't, unfortunately, I didn't see the name of the player, at least I don't remember it. But I saw what, literally one guy just sprinting around on the back line, resting people <laughs> nonstop. Like, that was literally his job. <laughs> he was the medic running around and giving everyone more fiend shots. That was pretty, uh, pretty interesting to see. And also, well, surprisingly effective, right? When you just have one or two people that just run around and rest everyone all the time. But uh, we've headed over to Miramar, and now let's see what was a pretty simple split west to east last game. This time around, Impala, at least for some of the Turkish players, could be a hellhole because they are all kinds of surrounded. Yeah, it's an interesting decision to to put this tiny group like that so isolated from the rest of your team. But it seems like Finland's pretty much doing the same thing with Power Grid. Right? You, you have both teams now with a, a sort of pocket of resistance in the uh, in the enemy um, land. Right, so it's it's. I, I think this game now is going to boil down to which team can punish that, right? Which team can mm. can take that that little group and just shut it down before it is able to strike you in the back. Yeah, at the same time, I mean, we also have a bunch of Finnish players up by a power grid who could p potentially end up in a similar situation. And once again, we have a circle that's going, uh, I don't want to say unfair. Maybe it is exactly what, like, fair. And uh, on each side, oh, that's uh, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna be running for a long time there. She created will be the first one down. So for the first time today, Finland finds themselves in the deep. How the hell did Misa <laughs> nearly three hundred bullets already? <laughs> Where's got all them from? But I mean, we, that is a. Uh, I mean, at first you think, well, Finland have an advantage, right? Because they have that sort of eight-man group that's on the southwest. But then. How does the rest of the roster get there? I mean, the group on the west has to go through the entire Turkish team. The group on the south has to rotate around Impala, which is going to slow them down. So, But Turkey is also pretty well positioned on the hillsides they have to play around. Yeah, but on that Wrangle game, Turkey had a very sort of coherent front line, right? They were all mm. uh, sort of together, and they were able to execute that death stack onto the hill that, uh, that really won them the game. But this time, they're split into these two groups, south and, uh, and west. And with this circle, they're pretty much going to spend the whole game isolated. So it's going to be really rough. I mean, I expect maybe they'll try and get into Azahar, and, and we might see a bit of a city ending. But uh, but yeah. this northern group, it's going to be very rough for the you know the, the group around Cordova and Tierra Bronca to have any impact on this game. Yeah, so you can see Finland has, on purpose, taken everybody out of the city, but instead they're playing all the hills around it, um, except for the south side, of course. And it seems like they're going to continue to play that way. They're pushing more and more players up towards that way. Right, um, Hill, you can see Poro is up here. Stratus is up here as well. They're still taxiing people back and forth. And, and well, Mert made his way down. And I, I'm kind of thinking, is it... I mean, because I, I like their defensive position. But I'm very, very interested now in seeing how Turk is going to go about aggressing. Because as you were saying, they are kind of split into three smaller groups. And how do you... Oops, okay. Mert, that's a, that's a no... <laughs> Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made indeed. But how do you, as Turkey, put on this uh, aggression? Because they have to move. I mean, they're practically all outside the circle. Where do you go and how do you plan on engaging? I'd like to see them isolate this group around right now. And it, it's sort of the west of Azahar because there's only about eight people here. They're split into these two groups, one on the hill, one on the compound. If they can crash that, if they can maybe take the compound first and then push the hill. They can get like five or six kills. And uh, even if they're just one for one trades, suddenly that opens them into a path into Azahar, right? It opens, like, breaks the outer wall that Finland have set up around the city and, uh, and gives them an opportunity to get in because if that city ending does happen, it becomes a bit of a, a free-for-all, a bit of a 50-50, right? Because Finland doesn't have anyone in there. But Turkey need to make sure that they have a way in. That they do. And where is it? What is the path? I mean, I feel like they have to push one of the mm -hmm. Finnish kind of uh, defensive positions. It's just a matter of them making up their mind and saying, okay, it's going to be that one or this one. Or maybe just kind of take the bait and say, you know what, we will push into LSR and then hope that the circle is going to keep going that direction. It definitely feels like Turkey are posturing towards that Western group. And, and maybe actually it looks like Finland are backing off. They're forcing them and off. Yeah, now they're circling. Suddenly. Ooh, they have rescinded. They're doing that right now. Yeah, Finland backed off from the power positions in the circle. They had the compound, and I mean, they're going to get there first, but they had like five or six players there, and now they've only got two. There's maybe a window of opportunity here for Turkey to, to be a bit aggressive, get into that compound, and suddenly take control of this game. 
Yep, here they come. They're not afraid to push you. There's a lot of Finnish players Oops. coming over the hill, as you can see, but they're a little slow on the rotation. Thindalust. Hopefully, he'll get back on his feet. But look at the Turkish presence. They are all here, and Finland just has to back off. Yeah, they gave it up, and I, I, I really don't understand why. But, like, all of a sudden, Turkey go from being in such a rough spot to arguably being the favorites here. I mean, yes, they don't have this high ground, but they have control of over half a circle now with that compound. That is interesting. Now, I mean, they still have a pretty decent chunk of the circle to finish side. And if the Turkish team has to leave the compound, then, of course, it's going to be tricky for them to do so. But having said that, Turkey now has a foot inside the door and they can get all their players in. And this little northern group is able to lay down so much damage onto the uh, onto the Finnish roster because, yes, Finland can knock them, but there's no opportunity to flush them out, right? So as long as these guys can stay on the hill, uh, this little... Uh, sort of outpost of the Turkish roster can basically stop Finland from being aggressive at all and allow Turkey to push up this hill for free and start getting these knocks. This is going to be very interesting. Nades are being thrown That's forward. That's a oh, very good one as well. Smash gets two. Hugh gets one more. And that, my friends, is how you deal with a lot of players at a very short time. And that's where it goes from a pretty even game to suddenly swinging in Turkey's favor. A four kill advantage is probably going to be a lot more than that very soon. As Hearth gets two down for free. There's not even any trading coming. He gets a third. Wow. Speak of a front man. You wonder your team. Hearth finds multiple kills, both with guns and nades. And Still once going. again, Turkey is all over the leaderboard. It just feels like Finland doesn't have any way to counter it. They, it the, the Turkish roster is so coherent, so well... Uh, sort of working as a team and they're able to just slowly work their way up this hilltop and with that long range cover means that Finland can't peek over the top right they can't look down the ridge and, and take out those kills so it's always Turkey being aggressive but there's a big fight going on the hill on the eastern side that looks like it's going in Finland's favor for now yeah Finland are getting quite a few of the kills back that they lost before it seems a lot of the players are falling they're fall trying to I mean Turkey also has to play this one careful right because they cannot just full speed send it into their face they know that there will be um, more Finnish players at a distance trying to hold off Anonymous <laughs> on his own far away as well. That ain't going to be easy looking into the sky and saying, Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Can you please just give me a vehicle? And this is where Turkey now can just slow down. Like, they had that initial aggression. Now they can just stop. And Finland has to be the aggressive. But it looks like, mm. actually, for them, maybe they want to be the aggressive because they've got three kills untraded so far. Yeah, they tried to flank around. They sent a little bit of... Uh, a little bit of a squat around the south side, and it seems like it's uh, allowed for them to push underneath. Now, how does Turkey respond? Jupsik is on the side, has vision on a billion players. No one seems to realize that he's there. But he was only able to get one down for now. This is a position where he kind of has to get three or four, right? He has to do something massive. And the fact that they will now just swing around on him, I mean, suddenly in like a 3v1 means that that, that first kill really isn't going to be massive the gun scheme things he does go down so that little flank that sort of individual play is really not worked out for finland and suddenly it's just swinging all the way in turkey's favor and that kill feed is just all turkish it sure seems to be there was a little bit of a uh, moment of hope for the finnish players but now it's swung back in favor of the turkish shots fired paul derrick has one more bullet Left in the AWM, no vest on now either. And once again, Turkey is tanking to the battlefield and they're finding a lot of kills. And I think that Yupsik play was a perfect example of exactly why Turkey is doing well because Finland are relying on those individual plays, right? They're relying on that that one guy to go on a flank and get a triple kill. Whereas Turkey, it, it just feels like they're always working together, always working as like a three or four man group. It, it just seems to get like even when they go down, they always get traded, and the other guy always steps in and gets another kill. So, uh, I think that's a, a big reason why Turkey doing so well, and also why they're back-to-back -back champions. Yeah, they're pushing over the top now. Again, the numbers that we're seeing on top aren't including knocked players, and I see there are a few knocked players on both sides. So numbers might not be exactly as they are. Misa Jap finds kills. Is it enough, though? Turkey has 99.9% .9 circle control here, and I'm not seeing what Finland can do at this point, to be fair. Yeah, it just feels like Turkey are, are just so much better as a team right now. I mean, yes, it, mechanically, the teams are pretty well balanced, but it, it, Turkey just rolling over them. Like, neither, <laughs> neither game has been close. Both times, Finland has had their, their sort of the ascendancy in position, and Turkey's just found a way to roll through them. And uh, realistically, now, Misa, <laughs> once again, left on his loads and taken out. There we go. The victory in Turkey's favor. The second map going Turkey's way. And uh, that was rough. Oh, it was. And I feel like it's kind of the same situation we saw in the previous game where 
Finland simply tries to do too much. They have players spread too thin. They 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 try to take control of everything, but you can't do that and have a full-on Turkish team come sprint in your face too. And also the whole backing off of the compound, had they all been on that hill instead of just splitting up, they would have been able to fortify it much faster and potentially hold off Turkey. Yeah, we saw they, they sort of abandoned the city, right? They, they realized that they could spread out around the city and, pre and sort of prevent Turkey's access. Mm -hmm. And then it almost felt like with about 10 seconds to go on that, that phase four shift, the Finland sort of changed their mind. They were like, actually, no, let's put people in the city. And suddenly all those people that had so much map control and putting so much pressure on the Turkish roster just backed off from the compound, went down towards the city, and then bam, that Western shift comes in. And because they abandoned the position that was so strong, Tech was just able to waltz in, take control of the compound, and take control of the hill. It was a uh, again a, a early game even affair, but once Turkey said this is what we're gonna do, there wasn't really a whole lot that Finland can do to respond to it. Now they did manage to find a lot more kills this time around than what they did last game. So maybe it was just the two warm-up games they needed to now uh, win the next three in a row. I don't know, but they need to do something because we headed over to Vikenti next and.